Today, you will learn how to enable and use the all-new AI-powered code completion, aka Generative AI, where the AI completes your scripts and scripts actual features for you and your game. You will also learn how to enable and use the all-new AI Material Manager, where you can simply ask the AI to make a cool texture for you, for your parts or models, whatever. So if you want to know how you can enable and use this inside of Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. So to enable the all new AI powered code completion, the generative AI and the material manager, all you have to do is load on studio. As you can see, I'm in studio right now. And you want to go to file and then you simply want to go to beta features over here. Uh, and then you will see over here AI powered code completion AI powered code completion in studio script Editor based on existing scripts and or comments AI code suggestion will be triggered automatically So this AI will learn for public assets on the Roblox marketplace So all the free models that have scripts the AI learns from those all your games will not be stolen or something by the AI the AI only knows public assets on the Roblox marketplace, which is a really good thing for all the big games out there. Uh, your code is safe, your code is not going to be stolen, uh, the, the AI will only learn from public assets. So that is very good to know, uh, maybe relieving for some of you, so uh, no problem. Uh, all you have to do is just click on this, and then uh, you'll probably get asked to uh, agree to the terms of service, which you can see on the screenshot right now, just click on OK if you see it. And then you want to scroll down until you see over here material generator enables the AI material generator which allows you to generate any uh, PBR material you can imagine using text input. So you just type whatever you want and the AI does it for you. So we're going to click on that too and then click save and then would you like to restart studio now? Yes, you want to immediately restart. So I'm going to do that right now. So three, two, one and restart. And now we are back inside of Roblox studio. Uh, if you look closely at the top, you will already see material generator. So why not use it right now? So I'm going to make a part over here and uh, material generator. Let's see ancient stone wall. How about a neon blue? Uh, yeah, what could we do brick with uh, red aspects? Let's see what it does. What do you make? So we clicked on generate. It's going to generate uh, a few of those. As you can see, it is loading because the it's going from gray to white. It's flashing. Well, as you can see, this is what the AI came up with. So I'm going to click on this. Look at that. This is actually so cool. So if I do this, as you can see. Oh, there we go. Do you see how cool that is? I did nothing. I just put in text and it automatically applies. So uh, how about this one? Yep, the neon aspect, as you can see. Uh, or this one, which is just blue with a red line. Okay, that is not too bad. Uh, I want to stick with this one, so you can actually customize this, as you can see. So, to how many you want, if you do all the way over this, as you can see, there are a lot of those uh, texture points, bricks right now. Uh, organic, what does this do? Does it make it... What do you do? Oh, it just makes it, like, kind of cooler with, like, um, like a randomized type of uh, appliance. Uh, name, neon blue, yep, base material. Oh, you can also customize the base material, so if you wanted to only start with for example um metal which you don't really see to be honest uh let's see what uh, is there any way we can see that really not really but as you can see if we just click on save and apply variant now we have this epic cool texture which just disappeared for no reason why did you disappear Oh, there we go. Uh, I just had to click again. But as you can see, this is your beautiful new wall, as you can see. So I'm going to try that again. So we're going to make another part. And I'm going to go to Material Generator. Uh, it's kind of glitched, which I just fixed. So let me see what we can do. So how about we try a uh, yellow cobblestone, cobblestone with uh, red, uh, or uh, let's do green grout generate and now it's gonna wait again uh, it's going to run it again as you can see it's loading and then after a few seconds we have a beautiful texture 
Uh, and again, if it's not to your likings, if you do not like what the AI made, you can also just click on regenerate over here and it will just do it again. So this is what the AI came up with. Cobblestone with um, a green ground, which is pretty much what I wanted. So let's try this one. So if we make it bigger, you can actually see it. Look how beautiful that is. There's actually a lot of detail in it. It's actually really cool. Again, you could just customize it again, as you can see. Um, organic, if you want to make it a little bit more randomized, and a little bit more natural. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. Base material, just do whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> you'll probably see difference somehow, but I don't really see it. So I just want to do this one. Just click on save and apply. And uh, it should have applied, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's still loading. As you can see, and now it applied. So this is how you use the new material manager. Just make a part, click on the material generator, and uh, just put some text in it. And then the AI will do the rest for you. So now the moment you've all been waiting for. The new AI powered code completion. AKA generative AI. This AI codes for you and completes scripts for you. And all we have to do to use it. Is pretty. It's actually pretty simple. So let's do that right now. So all you want to do is just make a script somewhere. Uh, I'm going to make a script in server script service. Like that. And um. What I have found out is that you have to keep asking questions if, if you don't get the result you want it to do instantly. Uh, before I actually show you how to use it, I do want to give a warning to all of you. This AI is in beta, so it can break, it can mess up your script maybe. Uh, so keep in mind of that, always use a clean script so you can easily just delete it and customize it. The bugs that we have found is that one, it writes the code again multiple times, it just spams you. Uh, that's one of the bugs we have found. It's pretty annoying, but you can just delete it and then just re-ask your question. Number two, the long prompts you give sometimes seem not to generate. Uh, so what we mean with that, if you give an entire paragraph, make me this and that and a car and a plane and whatever. Sometimes the AI is just going to think, nope, I'm not going to do that for you. So then you have to just give it smaller steps to achieve your goal. And number three, you have to be insanely very specific on things you want it to do. So you just want to be really specific. But as again, the AI is in beta. So keep in mind of that. So to use it, uh, this is my clean script. All you have to do is just type minus minus or dash dash. So minus minus. And then um, make me a data store that saves and loads the player's money. And now you just want to press enter. And now the AI is going to think. As you can see, it just did something. Oh, it is already doing make a data source. So this is what it came up with for now. Uh, it got the player service, it got the data store service, and the money data store, which is uh, a get data store of a money string, which is perfect. Th that's exactly, uh, as a coder myself, I can tell that it's pretty good for now. Uh, so if you want to snap out of this, just tap, uh, just press on tab. As you can see, now you got the actual code. Uh, make me... Or uh, uh, make the data store load money when the player joins. Enter. And now the AI is going to think again. So you have to keep asking questions. And whoa, look at that. We just got an insane amount of code. So let's see. We're going to press tab. And we're going to see uh, if this works. So the player joins. PCAL return. Yeah, that should be correct. Let's see. Return. It's going to get your money. Or it's going to get nothing. If there's a success, we're going to set your money. And if not, we're going to give a warning. Okay, when the player uh, leaves, we're going to set it to their user ID. So this code is actually perfect. But uh, what this thing forgot to do is make leader stats. That is what the AI forgot to do. So I'm just going to do that here. Make me leader stats, which is a folder in the player with the name leader stats. And, and inside of leader stats... There has to be a money number value. So this is a little bit of coding terms. But let's see what the AI has to come up with. Because we need that leader stats. If you would test this out right now. Oh, it just did a lot of things now. Okay, what did you create? Enter. Uh, no, I can already tell this is not correct. Run service, that's actually useless over here. Uh, oh, when you kill an enemy. This thing did something completely else. Uh, so as you can see, the AI is not perfect, it did not do what I want, but we can just do this, boom, and it's gone. So, um, we know that this AI, this piece of code pretty much works. So, let's see, uh, turn the weather 
to uh, full clouds with rain. I don't know what this is going to do, uh, but we're going to see what the AI has to come up with. Let's see. Time of day. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, as you can see, what did it do? Make the player spawn in a random place on the map. That is not what I asked it to do, but it just came up with that. It thought maybe you needed that. But as you can see, this piece of code actually works. A spawn point, but again, works based on spawn points. Call on get children. We don't have a spawn point folder yet, so we just gotta make that one. And then when we will play the game, it will work. So let's see. Uh, time of day, 12 o'clock. Clock time, 12. Fog end, 100. What is that? One, two, three. It's a million. Whoa. But yeah, this is not what I wanted to do, but it doesn't matter. Uh, how about we just do... Uh, what kind of crazy thing can we do? Uh, kill the player. Kill the player after five seconds of joining. Now, as you can see, I am not very specific on what I want. But... Oh. Well, no, it just did something. Oh, man. Uh... It, Whoa, look at that. Look at that right there. Game that play. So when the player joins, we're going to wait five seconds and then we're, we're getting kicked for you have been kicked for being a noob. What? We're going to get kicked for being a noob. I'm not even joking. So would this actually work? Uh, I know the data store is not going to work because I didn't publish my place. So let me just ignore that out. We don't really need that for now. So when we play the game, after five seconds, you're telling me I'm going to get kicked for being a noob. There is no way. Oh, wait. I think I have to ignore the top. <gasps> I have been kicked for being a noob. This AI, it's not even what I wanted to do. I, I said kill the player. And not, not kick me, but... I mean, I got kicked for being a noob. I guess the AI works. So this is how the AI works. This is how you can uh, actually get it to work. Uh, it's a really cool feature. I hope I uh, teach you something. Uh, I hope I made your game a little bit less stressy and all that stuff so you can now you can just use the ai to code with your game uh if you don't know how to code please make sure you do learn something because as you saw uh i'm pretty much an experienced coder but uh i could already tell that the code is not what i wanted to do and it does not work for me um yeah you just if, you, if you're pretty much a little bit of a coder you can actually kind of figure that out so make sure you do actually learn still if you don't uh, if you don't, uh, if you're still a beginner, so please make sure you learn if you're still a beginner, because, uh, learning, humans can do more than a machine, that's what I, that's what I'll tell you guys, make sure you just learn, and then you can identify issues very soon, so if this video helped you out, give it a like if you like it, if you did not like this video, give it a dislike, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, and uh, become a member if you want to, and I will see you all in my Discord server, uh, we have a really epic community, make sure to join it, because um, we gladly help you out with any issues. So as I said, thank you so much for watching, all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.